Sunday worship was disrupted at the Old Harbor Bay Mount Faith Zion Church in Old Harbor Bay, St. Catherine, this morning. The pastor of the church allegedly stormed into the building before persons turned up for worship and vandalized the church building and infrastructure before leaving with some items. More in this report. That's the warning being issued by several congregants at the Old Harbor Bay Mount Faith Zion Church. The warning comes against the backdrop of the church being vandalized by its own pastor. The man allegedly went to the church early this morning before his members turned up for worship. He proceeded to smash bottles, rip apart a drum set, dismantle electrical sockets and deface several items in the building. He also allegedly fled with several of the church's chairs. When the people got there, he had locked himself away in the building but was able to make a hasty retreat before the people could grab hold of him. When they finally gained entry to the building they saw what he had done. But when we sought answers about what could have led the pastor to have done such a thing, the people told us they had been at odds with him over several issues including money. And with the chair that him take away is a convention money buy it. In the morning, the money man, when he was going to town, me called him by my phone and I said, Where is him? Sam? Sister White, I'm on me away to go and buy the chair. And he buy eight chairs. And the man come and take for the eight chairs. With the convention money. We have a door. We make a bill of door for 30,000. And he go away with the 30,000. New Year's night, he get the candle money light. He go away with it. We are sure our partner when he done him a call ask about the partner and him not sure partner yeah. But we have some visitor this morning and when the visitor then come this morning, they have to turn back. They could not believe that a, a man who call yourself a child of God do a church like that. We the member of the church, we are crying, we are mourning because we have no church to our worship. We on the street. We on the street this morning. No one not where to turn this morning. Anybody the people say the pastor was mad at them after they had a meeting with him telling him things could not go on in the same way. In the meantime, our news team tried to contact the pastor by phone to hear his side of the story. We were, however, unsuccessful. In the meantime, the matter was reported to the police who are now investigating the incident. Andre Jebenson, TVJ News.